So it is a buy-in day today at Trotters. Oh, we've had a, a little unfortunate event. So that is how you spend 100 grand in the space of 15 minutes. Uh, we've only got 24 hours to get it, so we really see if we can get one. As people are selling, it's cheaper rich to buy the market. Do you want to go for trading? Nice. So what is that for you? I appreciate the watch, but I know some watches aren't really going to sell for us. So, yeah, nice to watch to, uh, to have in your collection, but for us to sell, be yeah, a very difficult seller. I'll take, them, I'll take them to a set. I might have that. I'll leave that there for a set. But we don't need ladies, really. Till how are we for ladies out there? Old shapes. Pa Pablo Escobar. We got a lot. Day, day 36 mil. Pablo Escobar actually had this watch pictured here. And you'll see it. Something very, very, very similar. You sold in a local Bogota auction. You did, for like 20 grand, didn't it? I was like, like, way under the way. Yeah. Oh, I'd love that watch. Just imagine the actual physical watch. Yeah, yeah. Just like keeping your purse on. Sick. So that is how you spend 100 grand in the space of 15 minutes. We've just got a load of new stock in. We've got more 36 mils classic shapes with diamond dials. You've got great watches for under 10K, something like this, the still and gold blue sub, 36 mil under 10K, the concealed 36 mil under 10K, the rose under 10K. Got a lot of watches here under 10. You've got the Wimbledon as well, the popular Wimbledon dial, just in. Uh, these are around like the 12K marks, a new card. Got the chocolate yacht as well, these have been flying out right now. Perfect watch for under 15 grand. So yeah, we've got a good assorted amount of watches for 15 grand and under, I would say. Got this beautiful example as well, full factory, 36 mil, perfect way to spend 6,500 pounds. Treat your missus with uh, his and hers, today only. Make sure you hit us up on the DMs. 13,000 pounds, take the pair. Both are boxing papers, hit us up if you're interested. These watches are the creme de la creme uh, for anyone out there with 15 grand budget. These will sell out quick. So, I mean, the time you guys see this episode on Sunday, it's probably gonna be, I'd say 20%, 30% of them will be gone already. However, uh, if you're interested in any of the ones that I've just shown you, please drop me a message and I'll let you know if available. If they're not, you guys seen how we buy watches, I can definitely, definitely source. <coughs> Did you put in the bag of rice? Nah, I brought it straight down. So we've got a ladies day just, this is 26 mil, so it's the older reference. Uh, we've had a, a little unfortunate event, which has resulted in water actually getting into the watch. Guys, so in situations like this, please we'll take it out, we'll open the winder so like this, or put it in a bag right. of rice. The quicker you actually address the issue, the better it is for you guys. It means that's less damage on the watch, which means the repair is going to be uh, more cost effective. You're going to get like, it's not as bad as I thought. It's still, it's so still. At this moment, he sounds around saying, mate, yeah. that's a fake watch. Hmm. <laughs> who, who, who did you buy this from? I bought it from here. Oh, nice, you're lovely. Mm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's going to be a quick job. So obviously they've got to take their time, make sure that all the rust and stuff, the all the damage is yeah, taken off it. Stuff. First things first, you should take the bezel off. You guys won't be able to take the bezel off because you don't have the tools. So bring it to a new, your nearest jeweler or bring it to us. We'll get that address for you. As you can see, open the back up. The back doesn't have a lot of damage, but there is still a good, good amount of damage in there, which will mean that they will need a lot of uh, care for it. The reason why I want to take the bezel and the glass off is because the dial, as you can see, there's water in the dial and it affects the, it corrodes the tone of, of champagne, which you won't ever be able to get back. So that's really important. So it is a buy-in day today at Trotters. We have just had, looks like four, 
maybe five watches couriered down to us. So we're about to open up each one and see what we have inside. As I've just uh, bought around 15 pieces. So when we say to people on Instagram, when people are selling that we are not buying or we're fully stocked up, we are not lying. We are literally have crazy days where we buy crazy amounts of watches. So please bear with us if we do try and uh, delay you buying one of your watches. We will offer you something, but obviously it is all stock dependent. We don't want to overstock ourselves on certain watches. Uh, hence why we might say, look, wait a little bit just while we um, while we buy uh, sell some of our current stock. So first up, let's see if I can prick proof. First up is a Rolex Yachtmaster 40 mil, baby blue ticker, grey rhodium. Personally, one of my favourite favourite looking watches. Stainless steel, grey rhodium. I love the baby blue with the grey. I think it complements it unbelievable. This one here is a 2019. Just arrived, as you guys can see. If you're interested in this piece, please hit us up. Let's see what we have next. Here we have another <laughs> Yachtmaster grey rhodium baby blue ticker. Thank God I didn't buy one today uh, when we were buying the bulk watches. I nearly bought one, a 2021. So thank God we didn't. That's currently two in stock now. This one here is a 2018. Uh, again, I've already explained, it's a lovely watch, probably one of my favorite looking. Uh, if you're interested in this one, 2018 or 2019, hit us up. Next up. Steel Wimbledon. 2019. Very popular watch right now. Uh, for us, we are selling shitloads of these <laughs> at the minute. So this one here probably could do with a refurb, so we'll book that in with the polishers, get that polished up, and it will be available 2019. If you're interested in this specific piece, please let me know. I also have a 2021 edition of this as well. Uh, so we're double, stuck, double stocked on the uh, Wimbledon dials. Hit me up if you're interested. Next up. We have a Steel and Rose Yachtmaster with the black dial. Me and Cal just bought in a chocolate dial, so we now have both dials available. This is a 116621 reference. Beautiful watch, available today. It's been a Yachtmaster kind of day. We have had three Yachtmasters here, two Steel, one Steel and Rose. Uh, again, available today. As soon as they come in, they will be available. If you're interested in any of these pieces here, or any of the pieces we showed earlier, move quick, because they do fly out. It's really busy at the moment. Uh, our stock is constantly changing every sort of like week, 10 days. So if you do see one and you want to secure it, leave a deposit. We allow two to three weeks to pay off for it. Uh, we will be introducing finance soon. So, for anyone out there who's interested in that, stay posted. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the episode. No, Interesting, maybe, was it the Pepsi and stuff? You only wanted to see? Cool. Yeah. I mean, whilst you're here, have a little look. You know, see see what I've got here and stuff. Um, obviously, the uh, the Pepsi and stuff, like I said to you on the phone, we can source it in, it's not a problem. Yeah, the, ju the Jubilee Pepsi is probably the, the, the best, the better out of the two, the, okay. the Pepsi strap, for sure. I've just messaged someone now. So you need to pick it up really by tomorrow, is that right? That's right, yeah. No worries. So just so you can get a feel before you know you you know you really decide you want to go for one. Try and get you a 2022 if I can. Yep. So what I might do is I've just I've just messaged a few people to see if I can find you one. Um, obviously if I can find you one, I'll just drop you a message and say, look, there's one there, uh, 2022, 17.5, try and get it for that sort of price. Mm -hmm. If you're like, yep, yeah, let's do it. Could you get like send me a deposit, small deposit, just to sort of like get the watch in? Then I'll get the watch for you. All, all good for you to pick up. Sourcing a Pepsi for Michael. He's come yeah, over uh, from Amsterdam. Uh, we've only got 24 hours to get it, so let's see if we can get one. We've got a lovely bait, just 36 mil. It's a 116233 reference with a concealed bracelet. Good check. I'll get back to you. All right, thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. All right, cheers, cheers. Hour into the search, still finding. I have found one. Got to ask my business partner, but I'll bear with. Okay, mate, let me know. 
Well, there's one here, which is a reasonable price, I feel. Uh, it's a good price for the customer. It's a newer one as well. Uh, it's a good price for us, so that could potentially be coming through. If not, I have faith that we will find one. Um, just need to uh, put into the watch groups and see see what comes back to me. Is it, oh, uh, did you agree actual price yeah, with it? Nice yeah, one, fine. cool. Whoa. Have you uh, got a bit of ID? Just say we're buying it back course, off yeah, you, pal. Yeah, no Top man. Discontinued date just two. It's the 116334 reference. Factory diamond dial. Best, best watch in London. Best bus down. Best bus down in London. Yo. Worn by yours truly. He knows who he is. I'm not going to drop names. Yeah, brand new, man. Yeah? Yeah, man. <laughs> Christmas come early. Just got an order sorted as well. I'm excited that it's here. It's finally arrived. Surprise! New stock, guys. These have been very popular this year. If you are interested, send us a DM. So this is the new release of the Cartier Santos de Cartier. The blue actually looks lovely. It sounded nice. Pressure is on, man, for me. So it's Sunday, Sunday on the green. Judd's about to take his tea. No pressure. Well, you look the part, Judd. <laughs> Cal second round of golf. We're, uh, we're trying, we're trying. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep up. Second day of golf. What do you lot think? Six, Shot six, 52. Ten. After that, naughty, That's naughty tee off. Man. Tell us about your putt. They're not going to believe it. <laughs> you tell them about my putt. Go on now, you, t you tell them about that putt. Have you ever seen Tiger Woods? The Nike, have, you seen, have you seen the Nike advert, the chip? The it most, like that, the most like iconic shot of Tiger's yeah. career. I can't believe it. And he's got, a, he's got a Tiger Polo on. A uh, Tiger Rolex, sorry. I called it before I'd done it as well. And it just stopped just before it was about to go in. It was like the nuttiest curve. It's like one of them stories, you know, like it never happens. Yeah, like you, you, when you tell it, people go, yeah, of course you did. They just, they're not going to believe it. So it didn't happen. It didn't actually happen now. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. so annoying. Mikey, Alex, sorry, Mikey first, 45. Congratulations, Mikey. Alex second, 48. All right. Judd third, 52. Cal full 57. Is that good? That is good, yeah. I beat Tom, I'm right. Hello, Charles. Uh, probably not one for us at the minute, mate, if I'm honest. Nah, nah, not for us at the minute, mate. Nah, I sort of need it for a moment. I've got about three in stock. Uh, they, 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 they come and go, you know, why them one? Thanks, mate. Probably, probably a touch of retail. All right, mate. Cheer, mate. Bye. Uh, trying to uh, James Cameron at the minute. We've got about three in stock, so we don't really need a call, but uh, we, we can get them all the time. So, so even when we're golfing, we're trading. Always. Oh, so, what is that for? This could be really rich, this filming, because I could end up dead last. So, good luck to everyone who participated. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I think I could, I could, I could ace this one. I'm, this is me, this distance. <laughs> Nothing too serious, the par three. Oh, Judd's back to it. My ducklings. How sick are they? Ah. Yeah. Uh, flat, wasn't it? A bit too flat. Finished off. I finished off quite strong, to be fair. I started very good on the front 18, uh, and now I am uh, fucked off a few holes in here already, so I got bored, but I'm back in the game. About yep. six, six foot from the hole, can I purdy it? I think after that absolute disastrous last hole, you had a seven that fucked you in all the nah, But I've got, other than that, I've got seven yeah. and five, everything else I'm hard, I think, I'm not nearly. Yeah, look. 4, 12, 16, 20, 23, 26, 29, 33, 47. I'm feeling good. 
I come four out of five, which is not great, but for a second round, mate, it ain't that bad. So I'm, I'm happy. I want to be out of that. Overall, good round. I think my front uh, nine was was good. Uh, the par three, I lost interest. Um, the sun finally comes out. I dressed for the sun, but obviously it was very cold today. We go again next time. Hit that straight, my shot. I was on TikTok. Ain't not been been busy since. Always like, I'll be honest. The market was up and down at one stage, so everyone was a bit hesitant. But as people are selling, there's cheaper watches to buy on the market, so it's busy again. It's crazy. Just needs a little bit of tight. Might want to buy them. Might want to buy them. You got any more stock? I've only got them last. I've got the buff. The buff. So I've got the white. This got the white pair. Where's one? Oh, in the middle. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Makes you look like a geezer from that film. Well, I'm, I'm thinking. thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Sandler. So I'm looking for um, a ladies' watch. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> so on the five board, just to uh, give you a rough guidance. Um, you under five, under five, you get like a two-tone with papers, factory dial, maybe like a nineties model. Um, the newer, the newer shapes are a touch more, so they're about two grand more. Um, if you do want to break the budget, so this client is with us today. He's come back to get his glasses tightened. <laughs> we do everything here at Trotters. But he got the Storm Rose chocolate. They just forty-one. He got the rose gold Cartier bins. I'm sure he won't mind me putting them on quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a look at Brockton, what do you think? What's the birth for you? Uh, 23rd of the 5th, 93. <laughs> you got that one right. <laughs> no hesitation, you see that? He does like you, there's no hesitation. So I've got two options bro, I've got one with papers, and I have one without papers. So, if you did want to go for the, if you want to pay about £300 less, you can go for one without papers, but up to you. Yeah, so one, what's the difference in price? Uh, so the yeah, ones with papers, they'll be four fives. The ones without papers, I can do like four two. Oh, okay. So three hundred pound off without papers. But I think this one. I'll go with this one. My gut's telling me. So we're going for the initial gut feeling. So it's a twenty-six mil day just, still in yellow gold with a factory white Roman dial. For all your boys out there, I want to say that I want to apologise or profess that you love them. This is the, probably one of the best ones you can get. So two watches you got out today. Got the rose gold Leo Messi limited edition, AP Royal Oak Chronograph. The silver gold Oyster, ladies 36 mil, they just. Another one in the door, a factory silver diamond dial, they just two on the green and white newer card, available right now. As easy as that, it's gone. Who's it for? Come through, come through, special guy. How quick was it? To get it? Yeah. Very quick. You guys Very are, quick. You guys are amazing. Between two breaths, they say. <laughs> so we finally got there. Uh, we had 24 hours to source the Pepsi. We finally did it. We found a 2021 model with a Jubilee bracelet. Beautiful watch, going to a lovely owner. Congratulations. I will just sell them as SIR, but might try it on and obviously you can see when you look in the mirror and stuff that how, how good the quality is. Basically you don't get a certificate for each stun. Each stun yeah. but you'll, get, you'll get like a, a, a evaluation written sort of like description from myself of what is in there, what the carat weight is, what the diamond clarity is and the diamond quality. So that stun there comes with a certificate like yeah. that. Okay. So you're not gonna get with a tennis chain unless you request one, but yes. the, the price would be ridiculous. You basically- for every single one. Yeah, every process. single one. So you're yeah. talking, you're gonna have a, like 30 certs here. Yeah. But like with the bigger stone, single stone stuff, stuff like that, you'll, you'd get a certificate with it because it's one larger stone yeah. and you know, uh, people are getting it for engagement rings. And then on the cert, you have all the quality of what it is. So like that there, if I turn around to you and said that's VVS, you would probably say, yeah, it's yeah. SI. Yeah, so well, when, that's what I mean, you don't want to tell the difference. Exactly, yeah. when people say like, oh, VS yeah. and SI, the fact of the matter is, that is an SI stone and it looks fucking incredible. Right. SI is just like the, the, the sort of the quality of the stone. So SI will basically mean there might be like a, full, a few small, the, the yeah, there, a few see, small yeah, marks, but you can't see them to the eye. I wouldn't want to mislead when I'm selling chains. Yeah, of course. If no, I no, took, you don't want to say it's VVS, yeah, so cool. they someone else. Exactly, and they go, oh, no, no, it's not VVS. Yeah, yeah, it makes me look bad. So yeah. I'm rather being honest 
But you know, you can see with that, if I turn around and said that was VBS, no one would ever question me. But look, see it there, SI1. So, so that's the that's the uh, tennis one. You want to come round and see how it's in the mirror? Yeah, these are mad. These these are mad and all. So, so like these are the these are the diamond cut ones. As you can see, we, we call this diamond cut, but there's no actual diamonds in there. Anything you buy, sort of diamond jewellery, it's not going to hold money like a watch will. Yeah. Diamond jewellery, you're always going to lose. I'd say a diamond jewellery will always retain about 60 to 65% of the value that you're spending. So if you buy a chain for 10 grand, you're probably only realistically going to get about six, six, six and a half grand back on it when you come to sell it. Yeah. That's what you've got to think about as well when you're buying jewellery. Yeah. I'd obviously rather tell you that before you buy it, yeah. so you always know where you stand. I'm not going to sell that. Of course, but then it's yeah. nice to know sometimes yeah, that, that so. that's, that's... It's different than a watch, yeah. Exactly. With a watch, a watch is going to retain like 85, 90% of the value most of the time. Even more, even, even earn. Exactly. Yeah. Even if, yeah. even, even earn on it, especially if you're getting it from from ads as well. Yeah. Yeah. Even people like. The thing with tennis is, yeah, I'm pretty sure I prefer tennis. I prefer yeah. tennis yeah. chains, right? Bears. However, however, no, right. however no, right. fair. This is neither. Yeah, like. Twelve and that's it. Yeah. And like, for for me, so look, try these on if you want as well. Uh, so you could wear like these, for example. So I've got. That's like, they both look cold. Is this got a ring for him? Well, let me try that one again. The yachty. I'm gonna the bite him. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. That watch is cold. One's a bit thicker than all. Do you know that Tyree Stolen play for Blackburn? Where is he? Is he in that Tyree? Give me one sec. Takes over to my phone. Takes over to my phone. The no, thing is, the ball, yeah. exactly. But the thing is now with, with tennis chains and Cubans and stuff, it's people want to wear them. I'm not saying you, you're going to sell it, but when, when people come to sell it, that's when they don't like the D value. So what they'd rather do, so the big one, the thick one, the thick one's like 25 grand. So I wouldn't advise going for one of them. The, the smaller ones in from that, I'll get you on for like 12, 13 grand. second one? Yeah, about 12, 13 grand they are. That's your All of them are my type, bro. Two of the po popular fancy links. Perfect chains for the summer. These are my last, sorry, my last six. So I've sold out now on the white and rose. Only the yellow left. If you're interested, hit me up. How's it going, everyone? Thank you for tuning in. We put out a thing on Instagram stories, any things you wanted us to go over on YouTube. And we had a reply from JSBK Priv. He put, is there any point in getting VVS diamonds in a bus down? Will the diamonds fall out? So I feel like there's this massive misconception of what VVS actually is in the industry. A lot of people hear it in Drake videos, things like that, music videos, all about VVS. VVS is clarity. So clarity is how many inclusions, how many flaws there are in a diamond. So in a bus down, you're typically going to have loads of small diamonds. I don't have any watches because they're all at the penthouse, but something like this, a bus down bracelet. Loads and loads of very, very small diamonds. So essentially now called a bus down, yeah? So if the diamonds are that small, which will be something like that, tiny, tiny diamonds, yeah? You're never going to be able to see inclusions in a diamond that small. So I would say clarity in smaller diamonds is not so important. When you have a big diamond, something like that, which is three carat, you'll be able to see to the naked eye inclusions. So for me personally, I always say the bigger the diamond, the better the clarity you want. When you're looking at little diamonds like that, which you can probably barely see, that go into a bus stand, what you want is something like this. It's a nice, lively color. So a better color, lively, fiery stones. Don't worry too much and hang up on VVS, VS and all of that. I would say sometimes SR, normally SR, because they're a bit dull and cloudy. Don't be hung up on the clarity, look for nice, lively diamonds, yeah? Something that sparkles, which looks good. So better colour, not too much of a worry on the clarity. As for stones falling out, clarity is just the internals and maybe the top edge of the diamond for any marks or inclusions. So it doesn't make a difference to diamond security. So there you have it. Smaller the diamond, I would say go for a better colour and fieriness, less worry on clarity. And on the bigger stones, look for better clarity because obviously you don't want to see flaws or inclusions to the naked eye. What's going on, people? Ants asked to see some rose gold chains, so 
let's go as you can see we've got lots of chains so i'm going to run you through some of the styles and some of the colors that we've got in stock so our famous fancy link chains come in yellow rose and white the rope chain comes in yellow rose and white franco yellow and rose cuban yellow and rose belcher yellow rose and white hope that was helpful and if you liked that hit the subscribe button and get the bell on Skip Max Gibson. Shooter. Shooter. Is that how you spell it? So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Anchor.